Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hope you're having an awesome day. Thanks for taking some time out of your day to hang out with me. Today's video, I'm super excited because it is a collab video with the lovely Jamie Brumfield. This time she asked me if I had any collab ideas and I was thinking, you know what? Summer Solstice is around the corner and I figured let's do a Harry Potter inspired look. I was kind of scared proposing the idea, but she absolutely loved it and thought it was creative. So I was very excited because I just love Harry Potter. I just actually binged all eight movies again over this past weekend and your girl is in Slytherin which is why I'm wearing green even though it's a Bulbasaur shirt. <laughs> I couldn't find any of my Slytherin shirts and the only items that I could find were sweaters and it's a little too warm for sweaters right now even though I love filming in my crewnecks and hoodies. It's just I don't want to be dying of heat stroke right now. Jamie's collab videos have been really inspiring for me to really push myself out of my comfort zone and really getting the creative juices flowing for looks so I definitely have something in mind for today's look and I hope you guys enjoy it. I will link my collabs video playlist to watch previous collabs and if you're visiting from Jamie's channel, welcome. Thank you so much for checking me out. I hope you subscribe and give this video a like before you leave. We're mainly going to be focusing on this eye first. I don't have an eye disease. I have a little bit of staining from a pink shade doing a look last night so excuse it. I'm going to be taking the Urban Decay Potion Primer, found the one with the doe foot and I have my brows already filled in using the Benefit Goof Proof Brow Pencil, and then they're set with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. For the palette selection for this video, I normally use my three beloved palettes, Lunar Beauty, Life's a Drag, Be Perfect Stacey Marie Carnival palettes, and the Jeffree Star Jawbreaker palette. I definitely need to dive into some other palettes to achieve the colors of Slytherin. Even though those palettes do have black, silver, and green, they're not necessarily like the shades of Slytherin green, silver, and black. Even though I do love the shade Shady in Lunar Beauty, it's like the best black tons of fallout all over the face and kick up but it's definitely like my favorite matte black shade that I've used to date but instead I've decided to whip out the ColourPop 9 pan monochromatic palette we have the smoke show palette and just my luck smoke show does have a matte black right here called let's do it to help us draw on the look and I figured that starstruck would be a beautiful silver for Slytherin silver and then just my luck has so many shades of green but I really thought that you know act natural and Mo Bamba were going to be really good shades of green for Slytherin. Most of the times when I do very detailed looks, I'm in full concentration mode. Sorry that I'm not going to be nearly as chatty as I typically am. And I do have my trusty Luxie 219 eyeliner brush to help us create the details of this look. This eye, I'm envisioning it being more of a halo look, really focusing on the greens and silver. And then this eye is going to be the more detailed eye. I guess for his tongue, he is gonna need something red, so I'm gonna dip into Lunar Beauty Snatched. I'm gonna dip into Just My Luck, the shade Act Natural to fill in the snake.
kind of want to try outlining with a liquid eyeliner just to see how it would look. Now that we have the focal point of the look on, let's focus on this eye. I'm gonna start out with Kiss My Hass, and I'm just going to put this on all over the crease. Taking the same brush, I'm gonna dip into Act Natural to deepen it. Mainly focusing on the area where the lid and crease meet. Next, I'm gonna take Big Banks and I'm gonna put it on the outer portion. Ooh, that is gorgeous. And then also the inner portion. I'm gonna clean it off and dipping into Smoke Show, I'm gonna take Starstruck for the middle. Cleaning, cleaning this off once again. I'm gonna dip back into Big Banks very lightly. That way where the two shades meet together are nice and blended in and that there's no harshness. For eyeliner, I'm gonna take the House Laboratories Liquid Liner for the lid and then the Tarte Easy on the Eyes for the waterline. I think I'm gonna take Mo Bamba to smoke out the lower lash. Just kidding, I'm actually gonna take Act Natural. Mo Bamba pulled a little bit too brown for my liking. Complete the eye, I have some Fenty Mascara. I 
Aside from my lower lash line being a little bit watery because I did have to remove the one shade because it was just a little too brown for me. So it's kind of of a messy smoke, <laughs> if you will. So it's trying. Overall, I really do like how the halo eye turned out, especially the lid part. I do struggle with halo eyes. They're never this centered. So it's definitely a rare occasion. But I also think that the green kind of blends in a little too much with the crease. So it's a little bit harder to see. So hopefully that the silver portion is like the focal point of that but I'm also really excited how this eye turned out hopefully it is giving you guys some Slytherin vibes but I had a lot of fun creating this look it's really weird that this eye has eyeliner on the lid and waterline and this one doesn't even though this eye is more detailed this eye still pops out to me a little bit more just because of the mascara and the eyeliner but I'd love to know if you guys do anything for summer solstice and do you like Harry Potter which house are you sorted in what's your favorite movie book I would definitely love to know in the comments below don't forget to check out Jamie's look. I know I'm really excited to see what she came up with. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and if you don't, I appreciate your view anyways and I'll see you in the next video.